Library Association announced today it has seen a 92% increase in books targeted for censorship. The group says it is the highest levels they've ever documented. And there are also new moves to remove some of those books at Iowa libraries. KCRG TV9's Becky Phelps looks at the impact already being seen on the shelves. Last year, the American Library Association documented 16 attempts to restrict access to books in Iowa. Those efforts challenged 259 different titles. We forget how often libraries are incubators of opportunity and advancement to society, and we start to question systems that the public have complete and total access to that have served as well for centuries. Former Iowa Library Association President Sam Helmick worries book bans will teach people what to think instead of how to think. We no longer trust ourselves to negotiate free speech and free thought. We, we not only think that ideas are, are dangerous, but that they should be incubated and contained and, and placed on a shelf that can't circulate. Iowa is part of a national trend. 16 other states saw more than 100 titles challenged in 2023. Across the country, 4,240 unique book titles were challenged throughout the year, up nearly 2,000 from the year before. Oh, it's incredibly important that all of our students um, are a part of the curriculum and that they hear themselves in the conversations that take place in our classroom. An Iowa law banning some books from school is on pause after a district court issued an injunction last December. The state has appealed, leaving schools in limbo as they wait for a decision. This law has pushed educators to go above and beyond in pulling books um, from our shelves because of the concern that there will be a minority of individuals who will speak up and who will call into question those titles. As librarians and teachers navigate the increase in challenges, Helmick says the best way to advocate for local libraries is to use them. We invite everybody to the table to have these conversations. The right to grievance your government is a First Amendment right, and that includes a book challenge, but let's do it in a formal way that honors the process together. Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News.